question says when a 15 volt battery is connected to the plates of a capacitor it stores a charge of 24 microcoulombs what is the value of the capacitance in part b if the same capacitor is connected to a 12 volt battery what charge is stored so we have our battery and we have the negative terminal and the positive terminal so we're going to mark this positive and then we're going to show that a line's coming out and it's going to the plate of a positively charged capacitor and then on the negative terminal there's another line coming out and it goes to the negatively charged plate of the capacitor and so this is our negative charge and it, it says that the potential here is a, it's a fifth it's got a 15 volt potential difference so this is this is 15 volts now the equation for capacitance is capacitance which is in units of farads capacitance is equal to uh, and we can do the charge over the over the voltage now what does this mean um, it means that for so if I, if the lower the voltage is if the charge remains the same if the charge remains the same and the voltage goes lower the capacitance increases so what is capacitance telling me capacitance is telling me with this given voltage, I can get a given charge. The and so if I if I were to change this to 12 volts, the charge would also go down, but the the ratio of the volts to the charge would stay the same. Why is that? So the other equation for capacitance, capacitance is equal to the permittivity of free space times the area of of any of the capa of say the area of this capacitor plate divided by the distance between the two plates so it, for a given capacitor for this given capacitor the area of the plates is constant and the distance is constant so capacitance will stay the same regardless of what battery it's connected to capacitance is simply telling me the, that the ratio of the charge to the volts is always going to be the same so for a given number of volts, I will get a given charge. If I decrease the volts, the, the charge will go down too in a, in a inversely uh, similar manner. And so for our problem, all we need to do for part A is to define the volts we have uh, as 15. And the charge is 24 times 10 to the negative 6th. So 24, and that's a ugly looking 4, so I'll rewrite that, 20. 4 times 10 to the negative 6. Now let me point out really quick that it wants the answer in microfarads. So we don't actually have to convert 24 microcoulombs into coulombs. We could actually just use the number 24 and our answer would end up being in microfarads. And so um, this isn't really necessary to do 10 to the negative 6. So if you just plugged in that the capacitance is equal to uh, 24 over 15 microfarads then you would get that it's about 1.6 microfarads so I'll just go ahead and write 1.6 right there then the last thing says if we hook it hook the same capacitor so like I just said any given capacitor the capacitance is based on the physical properties of the capacitor. So the capacitance, the farads, is not going to change. So it says if I take the same capacitor and hook it up to a 12 volt battery, what charge is stored? So now if I say that my capacitance is equal to 1.6, and then I know that capacitance, let's go up here, capacitance is equal to Q over V, and I want to know what the charge is, well I just simply multiply both sides by the voltage, and so I get charge times voltage is equal to, I mean, uh, c capacitance times voltage is equal to the charge. So the new voltage is 12, so I take 1.6 times 12, and I get that the charge is uh, 19.2, and it's going to be in microcoulombs because I used my microfarads for my capacitance. So 19.2 microcoulombs. So I'll just write that 19.2. A couple of things to keep in mind when you're taking a test. Capacitance. So so capacitance. The units for capacitance are 
farads. So farads is equal is the unit for capacitance. And the unit for charge is coulombs. So coulombs is the unit for charge. So don't get these two C's mixed up. Again, thanks for watching. Give me that that thumbs up on YouTube. Give me some plus one for some plus one. I don't know why I put a C there. Uh, give me plus one for uh, some Google uh, Plus, and then uh, give me some like love on Facebook. Share this with your friends. Put it on your Facebook page. Put it on your Twitter. Send them an email. And as always, if you have any questions and you're on my blog, then uh, just post them down there in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can.